Hello Channel Reviewers, I am DS, your psychologist and welcome to another episode on Channel 8. So in this episode, we're going to do another Tarot and MBTI crossover and we are going to feature the ESTP which corresponds to the Knight of Pentacles. So personally, I do not have many contacts with the ESTPs. A very famous ESTPs that we all will know of would be Donald Trump. And if you look at the numbers, the numbers are... So a lot of times when thinking about an ESTP, I will use Donald Trump as the stereotypical ESTP to imagine how an ESTP may be like. It was a rigged election, and look at what's happening in Georgia. A lot of things are being found in Georgia, and they are... However, according to the internet, the ESTP is a much more pleasant character. So the characteristics of a healthy ESTP include being observant and action-oriented. The ESTP is a thinking individual that is prospecting and always looking out for opportunities. The ESTP has a just-do-it mentality and is not interested in concepts and theories. So the ESTPs are people that will just dive into action, they live in the moment. So to the ESTPs, rules are meant to be broken. So in this regard, the ESTP may be very likely to indulge in risky behaviours. At times, the ESTP may be a troublemaker. It is also possible that the ESTP could have the problem of being insensitive. So in tarot using our system, the ESTP corresponds to the Knight of Pentacles. So when we look at the qualities of the Knight of Pentacles, it looks like a totally different person with the stereotypical ESTP. So the Knight of Pentacles is supposed to be the most hardworking individual amongst the 16 different court cards. The Knight of Pentacles is a planner. He is careful and prudent. The Knight of Pentacles is ready and willing to work to realize his dreams, even if it meant going through something that is repetitive and boring. On the other hand, the ESTP may be easily bought because SE is their dominant function. The Knight of Pentacles really value work and effort. They are very responsible people. The Knight of Pentacles are also methodological and detail-oriented. So in this regard, the Knight of Pentacles and the ESTP do not match well. Other words that describe the Knight of Pentacles will be consistent, committed and dedicated. The Knight of Pentacles does have one shortcoming though. The Knight of Pentacles is really stubborn. So I would presume the Knight of Pentacles would be very stubborn, sticking to his own principles when it comes to work. So from this perspective, yes, the Knight of Pentacles does have some overlap with the ESTP. Generally, I feel that the ESTP is not described well by the Knight of Pentacles at all. So I would say that the resemblance is maybe 20%. However, I do feel that the Knight of Pentacles is a very positive example of a very healthy ESTP. So if ESTPs were all healthy and all dedicated to their work, then they may seem to be a force to be reckoned with. Is it correct to say that? <laughs> so in the tradition of our MBTI and Tarot crossover series, we are going now to talk about the symbolism behind the Rider Waite Knight of Pentacles. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. If you check the internet, there is very little information given about the symbolism behind the Knight of Pentacles. When you look at the card itself, it doesn't say much. There is not much symbolism behind it. However, when you look at the horse, this horse does look very sturdy. It seems to be huge and more suitable to pulling a plow than a horse that is used for battling. So in a way, you can say that the Knight of Pentacles is really geared towards working. So the horse is also very interesting because this is the only dark horse amongst all the different knights in the turret. So this could possibly mean that the Knight of Pentacles, though being slow and steady, is potentially a dark horse in winning any competition. So while the Knight of Pentacles may seem like a person who is very dedicated to work, he is actually a very easy-going person who goes with the flow. When you receive this card in a tarot spread, it usually means good. It is a positive card. I have been looking through all the different knights in the tarot deck and I compare it with the Knight of Pentacles. Somehow, I feel that the Knight of Pentacles is the shortest of all the knights. 
Maybe because the Knight of Pentacles is a short knight. So that is why he may have to work harder to compensate for the physical disadvantage. So the Knight of Pentacles is about work, working really very hard, being consistent and eventually reaping the benefits of the hard work. So the harvest can be huge. Okay, let's come to the last section of our Tarot MBTI series and that is to look at the Black Cat's Tarot Knight of Pentacles. As you can see, here we have a Knight of Pentacles from the Black Cat's Tarot. The Knight here comes well decorated. He seems very well prepared because you can see all the money bags hanging on the horse. While the Knight of Pentacles is already fully loaded with money, he appears to be looking for more. So this really corresponds with the entrepreneurial spirit of the ESTP. Because a lot of the ESTPs that I know of are very motivated to look for money. Although many want a shortcut to finding money. Here you can see the horse of the Knight of Pentacles resting on a turf. While the surrounding just happens to look like it is a piece of dry arid land. So I can get two pieces of information from this imagery. First, the Knight of Pentacles is a person who is able to look for opportunities in very negative situations. So the Knight of Pentacles is an individual who can make the best out of a situation which seems hopeless. And this may be true of the ESTP. The horse on the turf itself may represent the Knight of Pentacles' indulgent personality. So in a way, yes, ESTPs can be really indulgent. They can really indulge in themselves. So if you look into this card, you can also see that the Knight of Pentacles has very expensive taste. I'm not too sure whether ESTPs generally have very expensive taste. However, I do believe that if given a chance, the ESTPs would want to lead a luxurious life. So overall, what do I feel about the match between the ESTP and the Knight of Pentacles? I would say that it's around 30 to 40 percent. So the ESTP is one of the MBTI types alongside with the ISFJ that we have already discussed to be one where the match is not really close. Otherwise, for a lot of other MBTI types, the match with the Tarot Court card is really quite close. So we still have 7 MBTI types that we have not discussed in this MBTI Tarot crossover series. We will look into them in due time. If you have not subscribed, do consider subscribing to our channel so that we can bring you more MBTI and fun stuff. Okay, I'm going to sign off now and I'll see you in our next episode. Bye-bye.